Christ has risen. He is risen indeed, brothers and sisters in Christ. For years, this warm, joyful Easter greeting has trumpeted the assurance, the certainty, the guarantee that our sins have been paid for in full, that the anger of our righteous God has been appeased, that the redemption for our souls has been paid in full by the blood of the Lamb, that we are now holy and precious in the sight of our God, our Heavenly Father. How great the love the Father has lavished on us, that he has filled our hearts with that peace and that joy that we are his children. Christ is risen, he is risen indeed. That's the message that Mary heard that first Easter Sunday recorded for us in John chapter 20. But she was so focused, and we can understand so, so focused on what was going on in front of her that she failed to see the bigger picture of what was going on around her. The stone had been rolled away, the tomb was empty, the clothes neatly folded, but even worse was the missed opportunity for her to say goodbye, to have some closure as she would pay respects for her Lord and her Savior, her very close friend. It's easy for us to do the same thing, isn't it? I remember as a kid, I'd watch TV so much and I'd be so glued to it that I would forget that my dad was calling my name asking me to do something. It would take him a couple times to call my name to get my attention. I got myself into trouble so many times. Isn't it easy for us to get glued to what's going on right in front of us? The news of the pandemic, the loss of friendship, or at least not being with our friends, and maybe even death, that we can't say goodbye to loved ones at a funeral. It's so easy for us to get glued to what's going on right in front of us that we fail to see what's going on around us. And that's what makes this time of the year such a wonderful time for us to see the bigger picture, to see what was going on around Mary, the two angels with this wonderful message that they trumpeted to her that your Lord and Savior is alive. And then there was Jesus who appears to her and finally her eyes were opened as he called out her name. As we listen to God's word daily, as we take in this wonderful Easter season, we can be assured of what is going on around us. The Holy Spirit filling us with peace and comfort and joy. The Son of God, our Savior Jesus, he's with us wherever we go. And then there's that amazing love, that wonderful love of our Father who calls us by name. Mary, Heath, Mark, you are my child. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. What did Mary do? She couldn't contain herself. She ran to the disciples and told them what she had seen and invited them to come and see. Continue to come and see the love of your Savior, the assurance how he kept his promises for you, no matter what you're going through, to see that bigger picture. Fasten your eyes on him and his wonderful, powerful message of peace and forgiveness and joy. God grant you that during this Easter season. Amen.